Hey, I'm Paul, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the snorkel mask. This is a snorkel mask from a company called Splend, and you'll be able to find this mask on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm down here at quite a noisy pool in, in South London, and I suppose let's talk about the mask. Essentially, the biggest differences between this mask and a regular scuba diving mask or free diving mask is the size. You can see that there's a huge amount of space which gives you a very wide range of visibility but it also has a very large air pocket and that's one of the main reasons that you couldn't use this mask to go scuba diving or free diving really. Free diving mask is going to have a very low volume of air in the mask and so you can see that that's quite a lot smaller and it'll hug your face a lot more than, than this mask over here. If you were to go snorkeling or free diving with this mask and actually dive down under the water, you wouldn't be able to equalize this airspace because you'd normally be using air from your lungs to be able to exhale into the mask and equalize the mask. Quite luckily, there was a, another guy who was in the pool with me at the time who had a, a nose clamp. And so what I did is I asked him if I could use his nose clamp and it actually fits around my nose in this mask. And so I was able to then dive down with the mask and be able to equalize my ears by blowing out through my nose and because my nose was blocked I could then equalize my ear spaces, my eustachian tubes and so that, that actually, I, I suppose that gave me a little bit more freedom than what, uh, what the mask is designed for. You know, it's designed for the beginner who wants to get out into the water, who's not going to want to dive deep or continue scuba diving they're really going on vacation they want to use the mask while they're there and then hang it up when when they get home and not really think about scuba diving or snorkeling again or, or certainly not until the next time they go to somewhere tropical so here we have in green the snorkel mask then you have a free diving mask which is not in this review for a snorkel mask the learning curve is going to be really really shallow learning curve it's not going to take you very long at all to get very comfortable you know you're going to have good level of comfort and there we have a great level of comfort a free diving mask the learning curve is going to take longer and it's going to be steeper but then what happens is you're going to get a great level of comfort but you have to go through a longer learning curve and you've got to get more experience over a longer period of time. So the way this mask works is it draws air in from the snorkel at the top. That air comes through the face piece and then into the mouthpiece over here. And you're, you've got an enclosed mouth and nose piece so that any air that you breathe out doesn't go back into the main mask and fog up the mask. Really good for snorkeling in very light situations. You wouldn't be able to go snorkeling with that mask in very rough weather because, well, for one, you'd have waves splashing over the snorkel, which will essentially block any, any air from getting into that snorkel. And then it, you wouldn't really want to be in a situation where you're exerting yourself quite heavily using this mask. And that's because any air that you breathe out is actually going to fill the chamber of the mask first and then get out into fresh open air. The longer that you breathing out quite heavily into this mask, the more the mask is actually going to fill up with CO2 or carbon dioxide. And if it starts to fill up with CO2, then as you breathe in that CO2, it's going to start to give you a headache and you're going to need to take the mask off, clear out, get some fresh air in and then carry on. Down at the front over there is an exhale valve or a valve that essentially would let any water out. So as you exhale, the water would be at the lowest point and that water will come out of that mask. Really nice feature on this is a GoPro clip on segments over there. So you can put your GoPro on there and quite simply clip it on and away you go. Really great feature on this mask is in fact, this really super silky smooth silicon. That silicon is, they describe it as food grade and you can feel it. It's, it's, it's actually a really, I, I describe it as a silky smooth sort of texture which is really nice as it kind of cushions your face and, and is very light to the touch. Where normal diving mask is, 
I suppose slightly firmer silicon. Probably this silicon is gonna last a lot longer than the silicon on this, especially if you're taking it out into the ocean on a regular basis and comes into contact with salt water. That mask strap just clips on the back over there, pop the mask on and that nose piece really should sit snug over your mouth and your nose because you want this area to be sealed and so there's a separate air seal that doesn't let air back into the main area of the mask. All, all around, I mean, the engineering, the, the quality of the product is really good. I mean, that's a, a very large visible area of the mask. It's gonna be quite interesting to see how it works out. The important things to know about a full face mask is that you really can't use this to go scuba diving. And in fact, you really shouldn't use it if you're gonna be swimming very heavily and exerting yourself and, and as I say, building up that karma dark side in the mask. There are one-way valves positioned all throughout the mask, so air can get in through the snorkel and that won't let water back in. And there's also a little bubble over there. What that'll do is the water will push it up to the top and actually seal that off so you won't get any water rushing in. But as I say, if you do get a little bit of water into the mask, It'll drain out the front over here as you breathe out because that'll be the lowest points of the mask. I suppose what I'm quite interested to see is how much you can move your head around quite freely with the mask on and at what point that starts to dip underneath the water. Having been in the water with this mask, the very first thing that I notice is that it is really comfortable to put onto your face and, and it fits snugly. It's really smooth and quite easy on the skin and uh, yeah, I must say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. As I got in the water, I noticed that it is reasonably difficult to draw a breath at first, but I didn't really know exactly how it was gonna feel when I put it on. And as I put my face into the, into the water, I could feel that there is a large volume of air in that mask. And you need to be quite conscious of drawing your breath with purpose. One of the things that I found really useful is having this GoPro mount at the top over here, so that you know when I put this on in the water to do this review, what you would normally do is set this camera up to view more or less what you're going to view. And what I did for the review and what you'll see in the review, I put an extension onto that. And I did that purely so that I could tilt the camera back to actually view my face. You would set it up like that and snap it on like so. In the very first instance, I think that I had the mask sitting a little bit high on my face and so I could feel the trickle of water coming in through the mask. When I adjusted that and just drew it down a little bit and, and figured out exactly how it was supposed to sit comfortably for me, it, it stopped that leaking. Although every now and again I did get just a little trickle of water through but that really wasn't a problem because the water gets down to the bottom over there and I was able to breathe out and, and blow the water out through that exhaust valve in, in the front of the mask. And really it is very good for somewhere tropical. It's got a great area of visibility in the mask. The one thing that I wanted to test is how much room you've got to maneuver when you've got the mask on before that dips below the surface of the water. I really had to stretch and crane my neck quite deep in order to dip that below. So I did try dive down that little ball in the top of the snorkel really does seal that inlet valve. And so you wouldn't be able to draw any breath. And if you can't draw any breath when you're underwater, it means that you can't draw any water in. So that was safe and that worked really, really well. I really can recommend it if you're a novice and you want to get out onto the reef and not go through much training or not need to develop your knowledge at all. If you're just going on holiday once and then you're going to hang this up again and not think about it or take it into a pool when you get home. Uh, yeah, I, I think it works really well. If you have a long-term interest in scuba diving or snorkeling, then I think that there's better masks for you. If you really just want to get out there and try it out and see how you feel about snorkeling, this is a fantastic option because there's next to no learning curve whatsoever. It's very easy just to put it on and get out there without having to think too much about it at all. One thing I did notice is the harder I worked, I did notice a little bit of condensation creeping into the visor of the mask. There wasn't a lot and I think as long as you take it easy and you're 
calmly swimming around the reef and not breathing very heavily or working very hard, that condensation isn't going to build up. I was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think that I would enjoy it as much as I did. I think I've got some ideas of what I'm going to do with this mask now that I've reviewed it, but more of that in another video. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment in the comment section. If you want to get yourself a snorkel mask like this, I'll leave an Amazon link in the description below. Please check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next video.